Leaving the oats unsifted is the key to this roulade's pleasingly rustic texture. One of the easiest flours to mill at home is oat flour. You can grind it right up from whole grain rolled oats that you can simply pulse in a food processor until finely ground. This will not be the same as fresh milled oats from the grist mill, but they're tasty. They have a mild flavor that works into a variety of baked goods like pancakes, muffins, and the old-fashioned jelly roll that I'm going to show you how to make today. A pinch of salt into one cup of the oats and just grind these up until they're very fine. Just make sure that you keep the little blade that's in here very sharp. So a quarter of a cup of this flour should be sprinkled lightly over the parchment paper that has been buttered. First butter the pan, then put in a piece of parchment paper and butter the whole thing. This is going to be a little bit of a crust on your roulade. And this is the typical jelly roll pan, 11 by 17. This will adhere to the butter. And shake it around a little bit just to get over the entire surface there. Done. So now to make the cake itself, we have to separate four eggs large, put the yolks in this bowl and the whites in this bowl. Break them up first and then mix with a quarter of a cup of sugar. It's going to take about three minutes to get this into a nice meringue. And this type of cake, by the way, is leavened only by the air beaten into both the whites and then into the yolks. Let that get nice and frothy and about tripled in volume. Well, these look beautiful. Stiff peaks, glossy. That's exactly what we are looking for. So now remove this bowl and you can now beat the egg yolks. And once the egg yolks are broken up, add a quarter of a cup of sugar slowly and beat the yolks until they're nice and light and fluffy. Now this is ready to incorporate right into your egg whites along with your ground oats and ultimately four tablespoons of cooled melted butter. So pour this into your egg whites and try, if you have it, the largest of your rubber scrapers. So fold these. It looks so beautiful. It looks like a lemon custard. And now sprinkle your ground oats right over your fluffy egg whites and egg yolks. And you're mixing, but you're trying not to deflate. And then your butter. So what did grandma do without electric mixers and without food processors? So here, pour your batter into your pan. You're going to spread it evenly in one nice layer and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You'll rotate the pan halfway through the baking time. The whole time is about 15 minutes. So now this is what the cake looks like, warm right out of the oven, sprinkled generously with powdered sugar. Run the sugar through a sieve, as I'm doing, so that it's nice and fine. And I always love the flavor of the confectioner's sugar on a roll like this. And now we are going to turn this out onto a towel. You can hold the towel taut, flip it over, you have to do that fast because you want to get that cake out of the pan. There. Oh, thank goodness it came out. So now take it off your parchment. It's very thin cake. And powder again with sugar. If the sugar is getting stuck in the sieve, just use your fingertips as I'm doing to push it through. And to make a nice plump cake, roll from the short side. Fold the edge of the towel over and just roll the cake. You'll unroll it when it's cool enough so that you can put the cream inside. 
So I've whipped one cup of heavy cream and now just about a quarter of a cup of berry jam. Fold it in and this is your filling. A little streaky is good. So now unroll your cake. This is cooled. And I remember with my mother, we all loved roulades. And we always made one right after we made berry jams. So the cream gets spread all over the cake. So beautiful. And then roll it up again. But this time, do not roll the towel into your cake, but use the towel as your guide. Transfer this to a serving platter, dust with some more confectioner sugar, and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes or up to three hours. Then it will slice perfectly. Serve this roulade with lots of berries. I'm sure you'll enjoy it.